Hey everyone, Sean here from Census. Today I'm really excited to show you a new feature of Census that makes doing analysis and activation even easier. So to start, I'm building a segment. You can see the segment I want to create here is big co-users. So I've got my users entity. I want to filter on the users or a set of properties that'll let me figure out which ones are, are big co. Um, but you can see the data that I have available here from my data warehouse is relatively limited. These are the data points that are coming from my app. They're great for some cases, but they're not useful for the type of filtering that I want to do here. What we're looking at right now is really what we call first party data. This is data that you know about your user that you have in one spot, uh, you have in your data warehouse, but company size, company location, these sorts of data sets are not often easily available in the data warehouse. This is what we call third party data. And oftentimes to get access to these third party data sets in the warehouse, you're building against an API or you're importing CSVs on a regular basis. Today, we're releasing census data enrichment. And this makes the process of accessing third party data in the data warehouse drop dead simple. Let me show you how to set that up. So first, I'm gonna go back to my entities library and I'm take a look at my user entity here and you'll see that I've got a new data enrichment tab. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect up some Apollo in this case. I've got my API key here. I'll drop that in, confirm that I've got the right API key, great. Turn that on for my user's entity and in this case, I want some person data. I've already got an email column, so I'm gonna use that to identify the users coming out of my, my data warehouse. And I'm going to add any of these data sets that I want. I just want, let's say, uh, organization number of employees, we'll call this num employees. Great, save that. And census will automatically behind the scenes set up what we call enrichment or data enrichment. This is gonna use the emails that are existing in my data warehouse, reach out to the service on your behalf and start generating or querying that enrichment data. That enrichment data is then synced back to your data warehouse. So not only is it available in census, as I'll show in a second, but it's available for the rest of your data stack as well. This is kept up, up to date automatically, so you don't have to worry about adding or enriching data as, soon, as long as new data is flowing into your user's entity, Census will take care of making sure that's enriched and up to date. This should finish here in one minute. Great, okay. And now let's see what we can do with that. So I'll flip over to my segments again. I'm gonna create a big co users segment and I have a new property available on my big co user. Even though Census is storing this all in your data warehouse, it's stored separately. We just take care of automatically joining that into your entities without you doing any additional work. So now I can go ahead and filter on companies that are greater than 100 employees, and I will have my new segment configured. I can also sync these properties as well. They exist like any other property inside Census, um, so that I can push those off to my destination. No additional work required. Census takes care of making sure my records and my entities are up to date at every given time with the data from your data warehouse and from your enabled enrichment services. Now with data enrichments, you can build the highest quality customer 360, segment it and sync it all from one spot. Take a look at Census today and how to get started.